To provide more flexibility with control rig, you can add joints such as a root joint for the whole skeleton, heel joints for a reverse foot setup, or a look at point for you to target with your eyeball. To start doing this, what we'll do is get into the network here. We'll add a delete joints node. Set the display on that. Now what we want to do is get rid of the right leg. So we're just going to select that leg there and press enter. Now the next thing we want to do is add a skeleton node, which will allow us to add joints uh, into the skeleton we have. So the first one we want to do is add one. Um, let's be in create mode. Let's turn on grid snapping and let's put one right here and then middle click to finish. Go into modify mode. If we click on this, we can actually put this aside for the moment. Uh, we can change this to per dude main and that will uh, give us a root for everything here. Now we might want to also display joint axes and we see that this is nicely aligned with the three axes so we're good to go there. If we go spacebar B, spacebar B to go back to the right view, what we're going to do in this case, let's turn off grid snapping, uh, is we'll go back into create. Now it's trying to go off of there, middle click to deselect that. We're going to click on the toe and we're going to click over, oh now we sort of would like to see the geometry so let's come over and put the heel somewhere around there and middle click. Go back into modify mode, uh, click on this and we'll call this left heel. Now this one orientation wise, uh, let's press P and let's just do that as 000. zero, zero. And what that will give us is the orientation we want there as well. Now the next place we're going to put a joint is we're going to um, put one up in front of the eye. Uh, this one um, doesn't need to be parented to anything. We'll just um, put that middle click, uh, put that out in space here. Middle click, go back to modify, and we're going to call this the eye target. Perfect. B, B, and there they are floating out in space there. So we got the heel, the fur dude main, and the eye target. Now, we want to add to here reparent joints node to the end of this chain. And this will allow us to build a, uh, just get these two joints uh, into the hierarchy the right way. So that we're going to add two here. And the first one we're going to do is select the COG. Oh, not that one, that's the pelvis. The COG, enter. And next we're going to select the, the main one there, enter, and now that's the root of everything. And for the second one, we're going to parent this eye target to the COG. And that's just so the eye target moves with the character, but we still have the ability to uh, move it back and forth. So once we have that, we're going to put a skeleton mirror node down, which will allow us to do what we did before. So this will be left underscore right underscore. And just like we did before, you see how again it's creating extra geometry we don't need. The only joints we want to do this with are everything here on the left. And that will create our skeleton. So what's interesting here is we've now created a skeleton that's actually different than the one that runs down the rest line. But basically these three extra joints will get ignored um, when we feed them into bone to form later. We can test that by simply feeding this into here, putting the bone to form in, and everything works fine. As long as the joints that it expects to see from here are here, which we haven't removed any, uh, everything would be fine. And these extra joints will help us control things uh, without interfering with the skeleton. So if we click on rig pose, there we go. Now if we pop this open uh, and have this um, our skeleton here, now this is not aligned yet. So we wanna go asset, save asset for dude animation rig. 
and you'll see that now those are part. Again, they're not editable yet because we, we haven't promoted any parameters, uh, but we were able to do that. So to clean things up a little bit, I'm going to just take these four here and select them. And we're gonna put a network box around them. Now a network box will basically allow us to just keep things organized. And we're gonna call this add joints. So now that we have these extra joints, uh, we're gonna move on and start uh, building the actual controls for the rig. Uh, but this is a good place to start.